About 90 minutes ago, I landed at Pisa International Airport in the central Italian region of Tuscany, which is where I'm going to be spending the next week. I am basing myself in Pisa itself. I've got a hotel room there for four nights. I'll show you that at the end of the video. But before we do that, I wanted to show you where I am at the moment, because as soon as we landed, I jumped on a train and headed about 20 minutes up the track to a place called Livorno. Here we go, right off the get-go, a statue in Piazza della Repubblica which is one of the central squares here in the city. I'm hoping to take a look around here. There are some canals nearby as well. And then once I've checked out this, I wanna find some old fortifications and then head to the second main square of the city. Hopefully should be pretty interesting. We'll see what we can find in between. I'm now on the other side of the square and I am walking by an old canal. You can see the buildings and the boats and the canal behind me. Place looks very much like Venice in Italy from where I'm walking. I am hoping to continue my walk along. By the way, the canal itself goes underneath the square that I was on a few minutes ago. So it is an extensive system, lots of bridges, and it actually runs all the way down to Pisa. And the reason for that is because Livorno is a big trading port. It has been historically as well. And uh, obviously a lot of goods and services come in here. They are then easily shipped up to the city of Pisa using this canal system. So I'm hoping to take a walk along the canals. We'll see some more. We'll hopefully end up by the sea, but in the meantime, I wanna see if I can find an old fortification, an old castle here in the city itself. So I think I'm entering now the fortifications of the old city across the moat. Doubles up perhaps as a canal. Maybe it's fed into the same system, but that would be a clever bit of engineering. Boats on the right side of me too. Some more modern buildings over there, but let's go and take a look at this old fortress. I'll tell you a bit more about it when we get inside. I've managed to get to what I believe is the highest point of the fortress and uh, you don't have to pay anything to get in. In fact, these days it is more of a public park than it is a fortress. And that's because in the Second World War, the main part of the fortress inside was completely bombed out. So all that kind of remains now are a few broken down brick buildings and the large defensive walls, which still seem to, to stand right here where I am anyway. Overlooking the wall is these incredible views down at the canal and the buildings as they line the canal. An incredible area, that's for sure. The fortress itself was built in the late 1500s and finished in 1604, but like I said, there is very little of it left now. Just some trees and a few fragments of times gone by, sadly. Okay, I think I'm gonna continue my walk. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, continue on by the canals heading towards the sea.
historic canals. I'm now in what feels like a more modern city centre. Underneath the porticos, like in Bologna, not too far away. And uh, while I'm walking through here, I'll tell you the population of the city is about 150,000. I'm on my way now to try and find the waterfront. Just passing now a place that is described as an eloquent bathing establishment built in 1846. I am getting closer to the waterfront and the place I wanted to end up. You can see the sea behind me. I've made it down to the waterfront. It was quite a walk actually, further than I thought. But let me just show you around while I'm here. This is the waterfront area. It's a slide over there, so maybe a water park and lots of big Italian buildings there in the distance. It's probably about 15 minutes from sunset out there. About 60 miles in the distance is the French island of Corsica. Way, way over there. And you can see the sun there straight ahead. Unfortunately, it is a little bit hazy, a little bit cloudy. I doubt we'll get a sunset tonight. What a stunning area. As said, the video isn't finished yet. I'm gonna show you a few clips of the city, hopefully once the sun sets, and then we'll head back to Pisa and I'll show you my hotel room where I'm staying the next four nights. day I have checked into my hotel it's called the Hotel Terminus Plaza in Pisa Italy and uh, I checked in last night and I thought I would show you around in the daylight because you get a better view when the Sun is shining which it almost is hopefully will be later in the day uh, so let me show you the room I'll tell you about it as well so first of all there is the bed nice and comfortable and a little desk next to it which is where I'm currently charging up all of my electronics including my portable battery. We've got a balcony would you believe with a flag waving and fluttering out the window there. I'll show you the view out of the balcony in just a second. Wardrobe with a safe in it in the corner. We've got another desk straight ahead with all my bits on that I'm preparing for today's activities with. TV up there and a pretty modern bathroom I've got to say or a shower room I should say instead pretty good there we go the room by the way costs 35 pounds a night which is just over 40 euros and that does include breakfast it does include Wi-Fi it has been a, a really good location as well, just about three, maybe four minutes walk from the train station. But let me just show you the view out of the balcony here. Here we go. And there's the flag again. Make sure that door doesn't slam behind me. That's towards the leaning tower of Pisa down there, towards the Arno River. Nice colorful blocks. And then in the other direction, 
as I said, just at the end of this block and then turn right, that is the train station. It is a pretty standard side street here in Pisa, Italy. And you can see there the confirmation of the hotel name, Hotel Terminus. There we go. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed it. I am definitely looking forward to heading out into Tuscany over the next few days for some more adventures. See you in the next video.